we opened up Spring Street, we kind of had a, a dream on our back pocket. Uh, we just wanted to serve good quality food. You know, we had 30 seats uh, that we packed regularly and had a, a line out the door for to-go's during uh, the lunch hour. And, you know, on a good shift, we would feed 175 out of, you know, 30 seats. When we started here four and a half years ago, um, you know, from going from a small 32-seater to 175 seats, we had an idea, but we didn't really have an idea until we actually opened the doors. And ever since then, you know, it's a constant evolve and change of how we, our process. It's so much fun to see uh, someone who was born and raised in Spartanburg emerge in, with, a, with a wonderful business model and a very successful um, a restaurant. It, it has changed the culinary landscape in our community. Um, William brought a approachable fine dining concept to the citizens of Spartanburg. I think he's also encouraged the entrepreneurial spirit of a lot of our young professionals in Spartanburg by the successes that he's had. They really keep a pulse on the, on the community with what's going on. Uh, they're very apt to change, uh, as, as you can tell over the years, the menus, but constantly listening to the, to the public, what, what do you want? What are you looking for? Frankly, if you, if you took Cribs Kitchen and, and you plop it down in uptown Charlotte or even went to some place like the trendy Williamsburg section of New York, it would still work. It, it's a good concept. It's a great uh, pleasure for me to see how he treats people, how he treats his employees, uh, how he treats his customers. I would argue he's created more new jobs than the other small business in the community. He, he provides um, incomes for a lot of families. Letting the staff, letting the chefs be a part of, of the direction the restaurant's going um, and, and letting them feel involved with the development and, and the outcome. How do we do it the right way? Well, how can we, and we always have the guests in mind and the community, and that's the approach that we take to solving any problem. Like how, how does this better our guest experience, which is what we're always after. A lot of people can open restaurants, but the longevity of what William has created is in part because he continues to enthuse his clients with uh, unique food, well-presented food, creatively um, displayed for people. It's really fun to watch uh, his creative juices flow. Favorite thing on the menu, um, I like to try new things, so I'm always um, eager to see what the specials are. Uh, honestly, my favorite is the Moroccan burger. Uh, it's, it's delicious. I love tzatziki, and you know we make it here, so it's, it's fresh and it's great. When I'm being good, I like the pear salad, but occasionally, if you want a really great burger, it's a good place to come for that, too. Anyone on the Cribs wait staff would know that my go-to order is always the seasonal berry salad with chicken. I'm, I'm pretty tried and true on that one. I'm a sucker for burgers, and the burgers are delicious. Well, it depends if I'm with my wife or not. If I am with my wife, my favorite thing is a great salad. If I'm on my own, it's a cheeseburger. We want to be Spartanburg's restaurant. You know, we want to be 50 years down the road, we want to be like Wade's is today. Where do you think we would be if, if Cribs wasn't here? Where would we be dying? You know, it's such a, uh, a staple downtown now and part of the city skyline. I think it's given us a destination location for people to stay here to spend their dollars when they're wanting to go out in the evening, which is so important. Um, and it's also shown younger people in the, in the community that, are, that were children of Spartanburg that you can come back to Spartanburg and be successful. And that vibe flows into the community. It flows into the downtown. And certainly, William and Raj weren't the only people to open a restaurant in downtown Spartanburg, but they were pioneers. And we just felt that downtown Spartanburg, there was a, a good forward momentum going that we could hopefully help in some little aspect of, of getting the food scene moving a little bit. Raj and William, Thank you for helping move Spartanburg forward. Congratulations, Cribs Kitchen, on the Small Business of the Year Award. Congratulations, guys, for all your hard work. It's well deserved, and we are proud that you were recognized. And thank you for all you have done to continue the evolution of our community and make it a better place for us and for all of the young people, uh, whatever age they are. 
in Spartanburg, South Carolina.